He's going to be spotted on this clear. Yeah, nice find from Zywook. Is there anything more to be said? That's the flank. Doesn't have a kit and doesn't have hope against Ooh. the orb. There's the kit there as well. He can do this. Flash on, gets on, and Zywook's holding it. Zywook never holds the first. Yeah, calls it off, goes for the fight. Oh. And Breno saves them, but Zywu already continues to remind us who he is and what he does. And that was one of the most passive setups you could possibly have on the CT side, right? A 3-2 complete split without presence anywhere. And I understand it was late, and I understand you're playing the sites late, but you can see how difficult it is for the A players. Now, I think one of the evolutions needs to be if you're losing the A site or you're playing a bit more retake, and pros have spoken about this, with number disadvantage, this A site is very possible to get into. All it takes is one, but that's Magisk. Jumping? Caught Come on, bro. Yeah, Turtle. He's only got eight seconds, but this is done. Well played Vitality and Zonic off the back of his timeout as well. It always feels extra special for a coach. You know, you don't ne necessarily get to see real tangible impact. Engagement, oh. headshot, Insani hits it. Exit brings up the double and all it falls apart for Vitality. All those rifles fall into enemy hands. Henny will close. He started it well. Bookend frags from the Orpa, but Vitality, they just completely melt. Man just wants to get them in. This is a full Vitality, like uh, brute force, we'll call it. Bodies in, flashes in, and frags to follow. Just like that, the conversions are through and rather stylish. But look as well. at the parving as well, right? The flash is in, and they understand exactly the corners they need to clear. I love that. That is perfect. When you have your entry fraggers coming in and complementing each other so nicely and then hitting their shots, that is a work of art. Nothing feels better than being able to scale so far, get the necessary kills, and the round being done off some simple utility, right? And just the understanding of what you need to do. They are going to be clearing at least off that mid info. Oh, Turtle, these flashes from Vitality have been perfect. He has to find one, and Dupree's the one to post it. Clawing into the site from behind quick, though. Insani delivers. Need another. Breno can't. Softens them up, but they are so low. Dupree and Spinks with just 21 points of health between the two of them. Doesn't make a difference for Henny, but maybe exit. Here they come. And that's the angle. Spinks, perfect execution. And he will close. Vitality. They take it. Anubis in the bank. As it's a battle for hey guys, if you want to upgrade your inventory, make sure to check out Hot Pizza GG. If you haven't played on Hot Pizza yet, make sure to use my promo code LADAPART to get 50 cents for free, which means you can already open your first case. Also, Hot Pizza added a daily free case, which you can open every 24 hours and get another skin there. If you don't like your skins, you can always try to upgrade them for something you want. Hot Pizza has many cool cases, so if you want to open them, there are different and convenient ways to make a deposit, like credit cards, skins, cryptocurrencies, and many other. Here, as an example, I opened Snowball case for $40 and managed to unbox $228 Huntsman knife. Withdrawing the skin was also super easy. Just go to your inventory, select the skin you want to withdraw, and you will get the trade offer in less than a minute. A link to the website will be in the description below. You're getting teams who are starting to shrug that and break that a little bit. There's another opening death stomach there as two kills fall towards the top side. They brute force their way in and it's all the Danes. Three big kills as Turtle finally will respond, but for how long as Sphinx says no, 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 and it's just Henny once more. I've already said that three times, and we're 10 rounds deep. But yeah, I, I think that the coolest thing right now is the teams who are the best at the moment, like the elite, in my mind, is uh, FaZe, Heroic, and G2. And I think that Na'Vi, if MPL continues the level of performance and the smiles that we keep seeing on the faces of Na'Vi are true, uh, then I think they are now back in that conversation. Yeah, brilliant. And the reason for that is, well, I don't think Na'Vi kind of fit the bill of the other three, but it's about having a good default understanding of Counter-Strike, having strong individuals, as Henny is going to get some exit kills, uh, but the round is lost, uh, is to have a very good default understanding with very strong individuals to play within that. Yeah. But then it's about how many moves you can have because you constantly need to show a different face and be highly reactive, right? In, in right, either being proactive at the start of the round sure. or reactive to what's coming your way. Yeah, and that reactivity is something that also is, is something you can, you know, nurture. I feel like you've, we've seen players improve <laughs> in their reactions <laughs> when under a good... <laughs> They've lined up for him. Mad. Madness. Imagine this is the round that it all falls apart and that second can come through. MIBR, they, they did win the fourth round of the uh, map. And now a 2-1-2 two two. that certainly is one of the more competitive rounds we've seen. Let's do this in the next round, Alex. Because mm -hmm. I, I... Oh, 
actually. Hold up. Hold Second up. Second round for MIBR right now. 37 seconds left on the clock. The MP9 in the hands of Henny. Exit in the heavens. One spotted magic with the fight. And Henny's going to grab it. It's a one on two for Zaiwu. He's going to get it. Already onto exit. Makes a meal out of the first spray. Still taps onto the head of exit now. Putting it all on the line. Spots out Henny. And Henny clutches for MIBR. Finally, a taste of victory on their lips. And Sani has been having a bit of a tough game holding on to the squeaky fight. And Dupree this time meets his maker. How was Dupree not blind or, or was he? At all, yeah, I don't know. He must have landed behind him. He wasn't doing the dance at all. Nice one from Zaiwu. Look at the dings. They're both so low. Loud down the vents, both of them. That's going to be a lot of information relayed. And the re immediate reaction from Henny is to post up for the cross. Now Smoke will have, uh, perhaps allow... Oh! Whoa! Sphinx! Catches him posted up. Cheeky. That is a drive by and a half. Now he's going to have an opportunity. It's a bit of a gamble. Left or right. Flash is high. Oh, <laughs> brilliant vitality. Robin Salt in the wound. Unless. Yeah, no. Zyru on the quick scope. And Sonic's going to be happy with that. MIBR in trouble. In jeopardy. And it starts with a clean. Couple of kills from Zaiwu. Yeah. Uh, well, this is really falling apart quickly. Uh, second round. Rifles in play and already a flank in the midst. Batman. They've made the wrong call. Um, Dupree might not even get a kill. Ah, there you go. Fortunate. Couple of AKs. That's what happens when you save some Kevlar. You can get yourself a Famas. You can get yourself some head armor. You can get yourself all the good stuff. I see. Yeah. So you're saying money good. Yes. No money bad. Exactly. Okay. okay. And uh, now with the no money, uh, that's BB, is MIBR. This second one as well, you really, oh, you would really hope to see that trade come through. How do everyone feel about uh, BB No Money using the Counter-Strike community to elevate his record sales? What do we think about that? Yeah. And, and I know all of that really hurts, but ooh, matches, Bye. how many can we get? That's four, and the D go for the A's. 50% of the way there. And the wall bank could have been a nice way to finish it. Spinks wasn't too far off on that one. But yeah, nice. It's a, a run player's dream, that one. Yeah, running through a smoke with Glocks. And I've got the big M4. A tasty, tasty M4 right there. All right. Well, uh, all over Red Rover. Drew Cloud9. And they played them on Ancient in the opening game. And Cloud9... Uh, Cloud9? Who's Cloud? Cloud9. Uh, Cloud9, uh, I think, on a bit of a revenge tour here. Nice play from Apex using the Extinguish sound as well to mask the drop. They might not be expecting that. He was on the Raptors and now he has to do a lot. Oh, oh, Apex leaps onto the floor, gets himself a double, and are all on to exit. After all of their hard work, a 3v5, topsy turvy, turned upside down. Oh, Magus, not ready for that. Trigger discipline. Oh, he just wants a clean headshot. Doesn't want to mess this one up. Mm, no. Do it, Exit. What it, what? He's hoping he gets to both. I mean, all right. Well, he's getting an open runway here. He's learning what's clear. Yeah, unfortunately for him, yeah, he's going to have to take it eventually to pick up that bomb. Apex is low. Could be the clutch. Up in the vents as well. Not ideal. He's going to have to try and catch the perfect timing. Exit responsible for that plant, but still about 15 seconds to play around. That's a gift for Apex. He gets info and a smoke to climb up. Okay. Bro. Thanks, man. This is it. Don't shoot on don't the ladder, bro. Dare. Wait for it. Hey! Oh, oh, look at the face. Oh, putain, putain. Oh, dearie. Oh. And we go again. This is fun. I'm having fun. Hope everyone at home's having fun, too. That's what it's all about. Bringing you a good time. Tell you what's going to be fun, Chad. we got two best of three today. I'm excited about yeah. that. Phase Furia. Phase Furia. Oh, dear. Mm -hmm. Sign me up. Extinguishes mid-flash, mid-drop. But look at the lineup there. Damn, team kill. USP, what is happening here? Two versus two as things will slow down for a moment. An exit on the edge of the smoke. Oh, beautiful. Oh, I was just playing a very nice angle on that one. No info for exit and no hope for Henny. A Galil to defend his honor. And to try and keep MIBR here in Rio. Makes have a clutch. A 1v1. Yeah, with only 10 HP, though. He's going to have to dip down those vents. Magic's going to be in hot pursuit. And he has a need for speed. Oh, Whoa. he's faked it out. Oh, oh, beautiful. beautiful. Yes. That is stunning. Oh, a lovely clutch. Back to back? One yeah, on two. Hello. That might ignite a little bit of a fire in their belly. And I think before they get that descent, so they don't get that luxury of having a nice four on four, trying to set up that plant. 
as I was just getting these frags for free, just one by one. Turtle on the yard now down. You've seen them win clutches before, but this is a different kettle of fish. It is, and you can see how isolated the two of them are. Magus has got ramp on lock. The crosshair placement wasn't bad, but Magus the same, does deliver the frag, and now it's up to exit to try and keep made in Brazil in Brazil. IEM Rio, their journey ends. Day two at the hands of Vitality. A nice finish and survival for the French roster. Well, the He's seen two of them, Mezzi, but he's so blind. Look at those chain flashes coming through, and they are still popping off. I love to hear them, but will they deliver the frags as well? Royce found two as he gets traded. Fascia, he has been completely traded as well. Crimson shows some presence from behind the smoke. Got to be careful with those tracers. He's managed to get them off the bomb at the very least. As Mikodos finds his way upstairs. Awkward, though, in the one versus two. Jiggling, looking for information. Has he been seen? He has now. A connection made by him. Very difficult situation, but he delivers it as the bomb is planted. Down goes Try as well. Beautiful work from Nikodos. Fnatic had Roy on the site, who was able to fight back with that important double kill. Kept it close enough that Fnatic were still in the picture, were still in the round. That's Nikodos getting that first kill, realizing that that player has planted the bomb, so just looks towards Silo. As his rotation looks longer now, as Nikodos starts to wander, looking for a quick flick. Where do they plant the bomb? They know where he is. They've got to assume Messi's upstairs. 10 seconds to get that plant. Does he commit to it? Does he try and stop it? Just jiggling, looking for information, trying to identify where they are. Got a rough idea of where the first one is. Can't really find an angle for the flashbang. Looking awkward now as Messi tries to find Max. 11 HP for Max. Trying to take the fight to them, but he just doesn't have the HP. Takes one in the face as well. AWP rescued. Round rescued for Fnatic also. They're able to catch that aggression of Fasher into lobby. But then, I feel like once they're in that 3v2, might want to work together a little more than that. Mezzi gets that initial one-on-one -on -one fight, and then he's just able to trade his teammates using that AK to full effect. Still play for exits, and hits a headshot. Could be important here. 90, obviously, without much money in the bank, and Crims getting these exit kills. Who gets all of them? Oh, that is... Brutal for 90. Now the AWP gets saved for the CTs. And just look at the T side economy. If you want to get AKs out here, I mean, some of the players can't even afford the helmet with the AK. That is really going to take away from 90's next buy. And it's a shame because this round was so good from them. Getting those initial trades on Yard. Buda having big impact in this one. And there's a third kit there in control. Buda crouching, hiding, Fasha popping up, getting taken down. And there's Messi as well. But Buda's running low on bullets. The Glock is out and Messi will deliver. 1v2. David and DGT. Doesn't have a smoke, really. Walking into a crossfire as well. That HE won't go where it needs to go. But that's a very fast kill from Messi. I don't think he's got time to do this. I think DGT had a quick look. He can do one thing, but not the other. Oh. It's the kill, but not the defuse. Because that was so crisp with some of these kills. That was that initial angle we were talking about. 9Z, I mean, that shot from DGT was great. Gets the AWP out of there. And despite Messi's best efforts, it's 9Z who are able to clinch the round here. Got both kills in the one on two, but didn't have enough time to win the round. And Nico does not landing his shots. Finally hits one. One bullet left in the AWP right now. He needs his teammates to come assist him here, but he's going to be dealt with. Buddha gets aggressive, and in comes Mezzi again, but he can't get that kill. Buddha hits him with the turnaround. Finally, they handle him, and it's up to try with that AWP. He's had such little impact. Is this the moment where he can deliver? Tap to the bomb. He has to swing open the door, and now they know. Now they can get on it. It's so hard for Try. He hits the first, but he's still on the bomb, and Crims gets off it. Wins the clutch with the Famas. So close from Try, but really difficult there with the bomb planted behind the silo. I wonder what might have happened if you went for a wallbang there. Either way, it's Fnatic who make it to eight. There's Buda taking Nikodos down earlier on. Oh boy, what happened there from Mezzi? A rare miss from him. Crim's coming off the bomb there just in time. That was close enough to be like, oh, I could just make it. 
Crystal trying to find someone. There we go. Opening frag is here. But look how things turn around back and forth. Crazy twist around upon us. Now three. One versus three for Nikodos. I don't figure out where he's being shot from. 1v2 all of a sudden. Just waiting. DGT pops up and gets spot. Nikodos, the patience. Will it pay off for him? Cry will clutch it. Getting started early on a CT side, then it's try. 5 for 12. Going for these peaks one by one. Nico Dolls just waits for them to come to him, but eventually they win the fight. Even if they don't peak together here, Tri comes through with some much needed impact. They'll understand the proximity of Fasha, but can they frag him? That's another question. Roy will be taken down in the meantime. Look at these trade frags then. 3v2 quickly for 90 as they try to hold on to the A bomb spot. David is putting in work. Nikodos 1v3. Sub one minute mark. He has time, but he doesn't have any personnel. It's just him. Moving through Hart and David with another one. Four kills for him, defending that A bomb site. David stepping up tremendously in this second half. Knew he needed to swing to cut off that hut position. And then he figures no one else is going to come from hut at this point. I'll focus on the other angles. They would have almost certainly been trading. There goes the jump peak. Almost caught two there. Got a great angle for a second bite of the cherry as well. Down he goes. 2v3 as Fnatic go for a bomb plant here. DGT has got to be real careful. Fasha pops Max. They're turning it around, Fnatic. They've evened the numbers, but can they go further? Roy's in the clutch now. Is he to the left or is he to the right? You may have heard something. Roy creeping around the corner. Now he's got the angle, but Buda's got a kit and the bomb's not planted for Roy. Buda makes his way over. He's got too much HP. He'll survive this. Off to the races for Roy. Then he's halfway there with the grenade. But can he get there in time? He can't. Conceded position. And it's 14 for 90. What is Crimson's role here? They spoke of the double doors. But they weren't ready for Max in his position. 20 seconds remain. Crimson still on the upstairs. Do they rotate through the vent now? Crimson has found a frag he was looking for. And Fash is off to the races. But Daffy's on the bomb site. And they just don't have time to go back and forth here. It's going to be a catastrophe in the vents as Nikodos can't make it off the ladder. 9Z will storm. He finds some information. He knows some players are lurking. Catches one on long. And he knows there's at least one here as well. Shot after shot, he delivers. But now Nikodos has an opportunity. One by the truck. Big catch off from Nikodos. Leaves it into a one versus one. Inviting Buddha to make a play. Third bomb plant attempted. Still faking. Buddha towards the truck now. Oh, these shots from Nikodos are nasty. A 3k on the A bomb site. No reaction from him. Completely lethal and exactly what Fnatic needed. And Fnatic find their entry. 35 seconds on the clock again. A big focus towards B. Maybe why 9Z has been so concerned with this bomb site. Crimson is still up as well. Well, never mind that. He's been taken down finally by David, but Roy's here to train. They'll swing on the site now. The flashes will continue as well. Chain flashes on the B-bomb side of Overpass as Roy leads it down to try in a one versus three. 14 seconds. Wants to try and find the cover as the bomb is planted, but he can't quite get there, which means 11 rounds for Fnatic. So it's just been uncomfortable for 9Z as they have to run through fire to make their way on towards B. And they will get absolutely drilled. Try versus five. And he will not survive. It's been so oppressive towards B. They're not too concerned with the ramp, although Messi will keep an eye on it at a closer angle for a rotation. A nice flick from Nikodos. Doesn't know one's gone past, though. But he has his teammate in the donut. Crims is here. Nikodos waiting to find some angles as Max is the last one to fall. A slaughterhouse. An abattoir on the A-bomb site, allowing Fnatic to make it to nine. Does some damage, and he's been joined by Roy now. Flashes abound as we have 40 seconds on the clock. Look at the transfer from Roy. Dancing around the pillar now as more flashes come through. There's a trade from Nikodos. One versus two. DGT racing in. He's got to find his kill now before the full rotation comes through. But Crimson's just around the corner. Won't be needed. Nikodos punctures him like a football. And makes it 10 for Fnatic. Ouch. 9Z had the clean four versus three. They had the clean man advantage. But Roy overperforms with that double kill on the bomb site. Allows time for Nico Doz to emerge through the smoke. Nico Doz, close quarters orping like that, not easy. 
This is monstrous. Oh. Just making it over. What can Max do about it? The bomb's been deployed to another teammate, but they're starting to lose the numbers now. Lose the person now. Fashion needs his team to come through that smoke quickly, urgently, and they will. Not a time to save him, but maybe the round can still be saved. The bomb's been lost. Messi's got a great angle, though. Messi again with the pre-fire, and Crim's the trade with 27 HP down to the wire. Oh, and that might be the moment. That might be the round that changes things. As he gets out mid, Crim's just able to jump through that smoke. Nice to see 9Z fighting here. I wasn't sure if they were going to be able to. Look at this. Quick play out mid from Crim's. He's got two with oh the tech nine. Oh, my days. God flashes from Nikodos to help as well. Fnatic is just not giving them much of anything. Even if 9Z win the round, that's a great way to do it. David performing again. But look how dangerous they are. Again, mid is a problem. Fnatic have the flashes. Look at the Maybe. rotate. So nice from Tri. Oh, David getting more where that came from. I like this from 9Z though. So patient. David will try to put up some kind of smoke, but they're going to lose players on the B-bomb site here. Oh. Max has found an angle. He's dropped the bomb carrier. 26 seconds. There's time for error correction. Nika Dodds will punish. And then there were two. Versus the four of Fnatic who still need to plant that bomb. Try creeping forward. But how far does he go? The flash is there, but he can't stop it. And they can't stop Fnatic. They eliminate 9Z from IEM Rio in a very back and forth affair. Nine frags and counting. Trying to bait the shot out of Broke. He does so very well, proficiently. Keiserato needs help now. Drops turn to swing. Still all for Furia in the feed. Keiserato... Has provided oh. one, but Brokey looking for the 1v4. They have to pick up the bomb. He was on top of it, breaks the smoke and starts to elope. Fresh magazine for the final two. Two of these 1v1s. That's the fro fight, and it was just Keiserato playing that headshot angle with 15 HP. It's been one-way traffic here. Oof. Just coming through, yeah. Rob's not finding that frag, so... Less than ideal circumstances right now, and it wouldn't have mattered. But pushing through the smoke, Brokey tried to make a play. The bomb goes down. This is all on the Canadian. What an incredible T-Half Yuri are having here. This is their pick, and they're really making it look like it. An 11 T-round haul. Unless Twists can voice any further concerns, he's having a look. Got a good likelihood the drop's going to be on this close right side. Oh, spots Keiserato and drops. Now in the 1v2, oh! Twists locks it in for FaZe. A little bit of damage control to close that first half. Okay, five in the bank for FaZe. Oh, barrel spotted. They know what's coming. It's all about the shots and Yuri Beautiful. saved. Taking it in turns one by one. FaZe toppled over. Carrigan exposed, flashed on the bout. Does have to do something. Molly's not sufficient to cage the beast as they do still hit the shots and it puts Twist down to drop. Oh, wow. First found with low HP. Twist, yeah, he's heating up onto a little bit more. An AK recovered for Art, so that one shot headshot available for two of them now. Okay, Serato. Uh, you got to acknowledge it. Whoa. Wow, nice timing. And actually finds the healthiest member of the two in front of him. Nice from safe. Takes down Twists on that slither gap, advancing towards the B position. This B hit from Rain and Brokey on their way through. This is limp. That's a nice hold as well. He should have had a chance to take another pot shot. Brokey, good for one. Serato still in the sight, now been spotted out, rotate through. Good from Keiserato again. Brokey though in the clutch, not to be <gasps> one counted bullet out, left. and only with one bullet left, sure. But he doesn't have any idea where Drop could be coming from. Expecting him on the sight, and Drop's not slowing down. Waiting for that sound cue, he knows the bomb was on B, as was Brokey. Opts for an 8K instead of the AWP. He's having a great game. Brokey has no idea, absolutely no idea. Now Drop just needs to finish the job. Secure the map! That's a big one for Drop! A confidence booster! Absolute brilliant performance. He's at the top of the table. 20 frags, the same as Yuri. And peek over the top of this one as it clips through those wall. May as well get them while you can. I won't be having any CS2. Yeah, enjoy it while it Whoa. lasts. That's big from Art. Oh, I'm trying to find Carrigan on the site. They've done well Damn. to isolate again and again. All these shots are hitting. Can Rain get away with murder here? Oh! And it's a 2v4 to start off proceedings. What a recovery. Art and drop, partner up and find five.
That is the two most unlikely companions to pull off a round like that. If that was Caserato and Yuri in a scenario, yeah, maybe I could make that conversation. But the fact that these two pull that round out of their ass, that one-way smoke, how are you getting so much out of it? After the first, they're able to continue oh. forward and find so much nice more. Really well done here. And I got to continue to sing the praises of Drop. Great impact from him alongside of Art. Come in from behind in unison. Rops will hit the headshot. So this two on Time. two gets very intense because that bomb needs to be planted. And Caserato should be able to disrupt it. Depends if Drop can find anything. Nothing confirmed. It's on Drop's side. Drop swings through. Twist busy. And now it's all onto Rops. Can he get him out? Okay, no bullets. And so, yeah, admittedly, into a 1v1 as FaZe just suddenly hit the site just like that. No, but suddenly in a left and a right. It's good night. Three down. Save with the double. Caserato the same. And FaZe just flop under the CT's hand. Nothing for Rain here. He's going to go looking for trouble. Spots out Art. Pointy elbow one. Caserato's low and he yeah. knows he's still here. Rain. Don't get to see him in the clutch all too often. Yeah, I think he's been... Oh, maybe not. Sorry. Caserato was low. Ready three from Rain. This would be a spectacular clutch to really break them, dampen the spirits of Furia starting to punish with Rain without the AK in his grasp. So here we go. Ten. Oh, he doesn't expect heaven, He's Alex. He's not expecting Outplayed. Caserato saves them from a red face, and he was the one on the low HP. And now you tilt towards that top side. So whether it's down the vent or not, Looks like it is, yeah, interesting. But Rain just died. Oh, does that cancel your plans? Safe's re revealed himself. They don't even know about Yuri. It's only Safe with three. That's round defining. A full quad kill from him in total. That fairy tale over there at the major last time, which is what a stone's throw in the past. It's not that long ago. Uh, they'll be looking to get back into another playoff appearance here. Twistle on the hut, they already threw. Down goes one. Lots more on the action on the site. Twist two with that USP. Can you get a 30 count of the save? Not another one. Finally felled. And Yuri has been handed something he could perhaps work with. Oh! oh or not. Great headshot. He only needs one more bullet. Admittedly, Yuri's been brought low. He opens the door again. He wants to fight. Go on. He gives it everything he's got. But Rain holds on for phase. That's the first phase clan pistol we've seen. Yeah, and Everybody, I apologize to all of you. It will never happen again. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Rain has gone all the way around Yard and put one into the back of safe skull. Not like this, though, Furia. After all of this beautiful Counter-Strike, they could be just rumbled on. Unarmored oh, pistol! Oh! The it's one! They can still get away with this. FaZe scrambling to do any more damage. It's Caserato, though. Don't you open those doors. You'll be scared what you find on the other side. His twist has got one on the CZ. Damage was inflicted onto him. Caserato has to save him. Oh, wait. Hey, yes, indeed. Gets the info. Oh! Can he get the flag? <laughs> Twist has done it. Finishes it off on the low HP, but what on earth? You know that you can get, like, kind of rumbled by the door. There it is. It's a max range, Zeus. There that. it is. Oh. But let, let's review. I mean, that is great, but no, the way in which that ended, this is the fight I'm interested in. So this is great, but then Twist comes down. Then Carrigan swung on. Nice from Yuri. Gets out of there. But still, K Serato's the one to just get away with that frag onto Twist. Brokey down on the rotate for hinges on Rain. Dancing with Safe. Hits the headshot on the AK. Now a one-on-one -on -one emerges. Can Safe do it? Two already to his name. But no HP for this one. And trapped on the site up against Rops. Rops. So smart. So calm as he collects and... That will be 12 for FaZe. Well handled from Rops right there. I love the way he backed himself Me into too. main, right? Understanding that fight, knowing the angles that he could manage right there. So really well handled. Using his big brain right there, Rops. But they lost four players. And just take a look at the cash right now. He does retain the AWP for Brokey, sure. But everybody's strapped for cash here as far as FaZe are concerned. There might be Famuses or MP9s coming into the mix here. Oh, spotted out by the shadow. First shot, don't hit. Ray still manages to make good on something with the pistol. And already the bodies are dropping. Oh, FaZe falling on their face. And Fury up to secure playoffs at home. Soil, Carrigan the disruptor on the MP9. Some damage and another frag from Carrigan. Time. Eight seconds. Yuri, oh no, they go down. Carrigan extends play. And that's going to get right under Fury's skin. They could taste it. They could smell it. Carrigan could be caught here. Should be dead. 
Support provided. Frag still there. Carrigan another one, but from the top. Oh! Rope and safe! Breaking heads, breaking necks on the Deagle. Ready for another. Spotted out, tagged up, forced away. It's Rops in lobby, they scream. Rops and Reigns turn to try and keep play for phase, or does it end here? Info and a frag onto Art. Likely info onto Drop as he's been catching bullets through the smoke. They do hit them both on the FAMAS. Safe is low. He's hit some crackers. Can he really do it for Furia? Gets away into the fight, dinks him up. He's hitting every shot. How is Safe still alive with 9 HP to secure the playoffs? And time against him. Robs does not have the kit. Safe. He's done so much. I have done enough. I think so too, Chad. Robs accepting his fate. Sure, he's got the kit, but he's got a bullet in his ribcage. Safe to save him. And you can see what it means to them. Furia will see the crowd here six months after their run to the semi-finals of the major.